Hello everyone, this is Over Here Gamo, and I am back. Um, I've had a few uh, emails, it's nice to be missed. Uh, Silver Diva, Mossy Nut, Vulcan 567A, you know, um, thank you for writing and, and things like that. Um, if you all recall when I had my did my video where I got my koalas, I was telling you about my best friend, this terminal, and she ended up being more terminal than we thought. And after I made my last video, uh, a couple days later she went in the hospital and she had been in the hospital for a few weeks and then um, she passed away. So a week ago today was her funeral and I spent this past week grieving so um, but I did order this and this came in um, a few weeks a couple weeks ago and I looked at it to make sure everything was alright and I have to admit the coins are stunning on this so I hope you guys like it and um, getting around making the video today and I'm going to start melting silver again so I'll get those out um, but this as you can tell is from Natmex I got me a Natmex box yay uh, I got the holiday one now I got a regular one and this month, for my $200 budget, I only ordered two coins. So I only spent exactly $160 um, because there's a coin I'm wanting to get that's really expensive. And so I'm saving money from each each month so that way I can get the coin later. So let's see what's in the box. All righty. We're going to get to this. Okay, the first one, um, as you can tell, it looks like the one I had for Cerberus, but this is not. This is the centaur coin. Let me put my bag there, set that back there. And just like the last one, here, that's all tangled. Just like that last one. Um, this is from the myth mythological, Greek mythological creatures. Comes in your little pouch. And I got number, oh, you my magnifying glass? I got number 68. This is the centaur coin. And I looked at it. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, we're going to see if we can't get a good look on that. Let's see if it can't come into view. Look at that. It is absolutely stunning. These little spots you see are not spots. They're like stars or whatever. Um, that's with the coin. There is not a mark on it. And of course, we've got the queen on the back. Um, the centaur um, is interesting. There's really not a whole lot on the centaur as to how they came about. There's several stories. One is that um, uh, King Exion made it with a cloud. Um, named Nephele, I think it's N E P H E L E, which was created by Zeus to lay with the king because the king had a thing for Hera, and Hera, you know, told Zeus, and Zeus didn't believe her, so he tested him, and yeah, and they're saying that's how the the horse, the the centaur came about, um, but centaurs in mythology are known to be savages. They're known to be very lustful, and they're known to be very savage. Um, but there was one famous one. Um, I can't remember his name right now, but he was uh, uh, um, very uh, kind. Um, he was he had great medicinal knowledge. Um, he was fair, and uh, they these horses or the centaurs were from the region of Thessaly um, and so uh, you know one thing about them is that they that centaurs are talked about mostly in Greek mythology but the interesting thing is they're much older than that um, if you know you know I've told you all before I do religious studies and if you read the book of Jasher which is actually pronounced Yasher um, and it's the book is in the Jewish religion. It's called. It's the book of truth is what it means, and um, it's referred to in the Bible. As a matter of fact, one of three books, one of three books referred to in the Bible. But if you read uh, the book of Jasher around the time where um, yeah the tw the twelve tribes you know Jacob um, um, had his son, had his sons were Joseph and all that story Joseph. Um, 
if you read that, they tell of stories where they would see these beasts where from the torso up was man and the torso down was beast. And uh, one of the, one of the uh, 12 sons actually made a mark where he um, encountered one of these near a cave and it's still there today in, in uh, Israel. But, you know, the Greek, of course, made the, the, the uh, uh, myth of the centaur famous. But it was actually referred to a long time before that. So, um, Centaur, you know, I I love this coin. I actually I think I like it a little better than Cerberus. Um, but this is a stunning coin and nothing. Whoop, nothing wrong with it. So, um, that was one of the coins I got for this month. And we'll just do her back up. I'll set it to the side and then I'm starting another collection this is the Forgotten Cities collection and I'm gonna get all these and I love this collection because I love how it's presented and I love what it's about it's called the Forgotten Cities um, it's uh, from uh, the New Zealand Mint same along with this the these this series of coins is from New Zealand Mint and uh, look how this is presented. It's they present it in in like journal boxes, and um, for, it says Forgotten Cities. And this one is Machu Picchu, or I should say Machu Picchu is how it's really correctly um, pronounced. And you open it up, and it tells you a little bit about Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Um, I haven't been able to read it yet. And, of course, everybody knows I need my magnifying glass. I'm going to try to get this coin out of here. Um, my son can get it really easy. I don't, I don't need that, sweetie. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to get it. He gets it right out, and I don't know how he does it. And, well, anyway, I don't know if I can get that coin. Um, but this is my Machu Picchu. I don't know if you can see it or if it's going to come into focus. But it's absolutely stunning. Uh, when my son got it out of there, there's not a mark on it. And of course it has the queen on the back. But that's what it looks like. And right there, the scroll right here is uh, the authenticity. Um, I'm not sure the number that I got, but I just love how this is presented in these little journal books. And um, apparently, if you read it, it gives you a clue to what the next city is, which I'm going to be getting. I think it's Petra, I think. Um, either that or Anchor Watt, I can't remember. But um, that is a stunning, stunning coin. I am absolutely in love with this, and I'm in love with this series. I'm glad I got it. Um, what I know about Ma Machu Picchu, I have to admit... Um, I don't know a whole lot about it. What I do know about it is uh, it's northwest of Cusco, which is in the um, Peruvian Andes Mountains. Um, but Machu Picchu, the reason why it's called a Forgotten City, um, is that it once, they think, it was either a retreat for Inca, the Incan leaders, or it was a spiritual site, and I'm leaning more towards the spiritual site from what little bit that I do know of it. But when the Spanish conquistadors came in, um, the local residents kept this hidden from them. And uh, who, whoever was living there at Machu Picchu, they all left anyway, but the residents around it kept it hidden for a long, long time. And it was only rediscovered um, about a hundred years ago and I can't remember Bingham I think was the guy's name who discovered an archaeologist who discovered Machu Picchu and uh, it's a tourist site now but I've seen pictures of the area and it's just fascinating how they did that all these terraces and 
and steps and you know, right there on the side of the mountain and it's just fascinating. Um, I, I have to admit, I don't know a whole lot about Machu Picchu except for the fact that it was lost. It was discovered 100 years ago. They And it's one of two things, like I said, um, it's either a retreat or a spiritual site. But I, the way that this is uh, done, it, I'm leaning more towards a spiritual site because that is very uh, that area is a hot spot for that kind of stuff. And uh, you know these are the steps that go up the mountain. It's just fascinating um, how this is done. But I love the way this is presented in this little journal books. And it's got like a little magnet and. I don't know if you can hear it. A uh, little magnet to keep it uh, um, together, but I don't know where the magnet's at. You can't even feel it. But uh, this is I'm starting this series here. And these are the two coins that I got for the month. Like I said, um, I only spent $160. And uh, that's what I got. So I hope uh, you enjoy these coins, you know, looking at them. And I uh, hope uh, to do more soon. Um, get my next order coming in and uh, we'll go from there so I hope everybody has a great day and a great night and we'll talk later